All right, so I am just going to share a bit about the medallion track kind of as an update for those of you who are still on track to earn a medal for spring 2020 with PLP. So this is for the spring semester, just kind of an update. I'm going to go through the checklist, kind of give you an idea of where you should be. I did send out a new checklist that's updated with these dates so that you can more easily identify if you've completed that item. And then also a couple other updates that we'll go through. So at this point, you should already have been able to click off Financial Literacy Workshop. That was in November. Um, next week, so this, uh, the date of this recording is January 17th. So next week, you'll be able to check off Time and Attention Management. Of course, this will be valid at the end, so you need to make sure that you complete all of your service hours, your recruitment hours, and that you are in good attendance. PLP Servant Leadership Workshop already happened, as did Fall Orientation, and you already submitted your Fall Scorecard with a definition of Servant Leadership. <clears throat> Let me talk a little bit about volunteer hours. So this means that you need eight total volunteer hours. So if last semester for fall 2019, you earned two PLP hours and you used two external service hours, that means you still need six total volunteer hours through PLP. And these are the kind of general humanitarian good for the community volunteer opportunities provided through PLP, like adopt a block, or if you do um, something with the food pantry, those are the opportunities that are provided through Daria and Ola, not anything that you find on your own. And uh, recruitment hours do not count for these volunteer hours. So you probably have um, anywhere from four to six hours remaining that you need to, to earn this semester, but there will be plenty of opportunities. So just make sure that you prioritize getting the last hours that you need to be able to check off that box. Teamwork, emotional intelligence already happened. If you have not yet held a one-on-one -on -one meeting with your student director, make sure you schedule that ASAP. Demonstrate teamwork during fall McKenzie case. If you recall, the original version of this worksheet had fall and spring. For the spring semester, we're actually doing something different than the McKinsey case, so you only needed to demonstrate teamwork during the fall. Um, so that one is complete, as is attending all McKinsey case group sessions and the final presentation. So as you'll see, this is coming up in March. Make sure you attend that week. You'll also have to write an essay, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, communication already happened. Personal branding already happened. Negotiations already happened. So we just had our negotiations workshop um, two days ago, our first PLP meeting of the semester. Recruitment class talk and recruitment tabling. So we actually just sent out the sign-up sheet for tabling for this semester. You only have to complete one hour for the medallion track, specifically to tabling, and you'll need to complete one class talk or student organization talk, specifically to the medallion track. Now, um, everyone in PLP is required to do two recruitment hours. This is just saying that you need to make sure that at least one of those hours is through tabling and one is through recruitment, whereas regular PLP students who are not working towards the medallion could, in theory, just do both hours as tabling. Of course, you can do more, so this is kind of the bare minimum. Tabling, you can sign up through the link that I sent earlier this week. Class talks, we will be going over on the 22nd of January. We'll talk about how to do those, how to schedule them, what your talk should cover, and then how to report back. So more information to be given on that, but essentially you will find a class, so a professor that you have this semester or that you've had in the past that you think his his or her class would uh, have students who are a great fit for PLP. You would reach out to the professor, ask permission to give a five-minute presentation about PLP during our recruitment season. You will go, you will give the presentation, you'll pass around a sign-up sheet for students who would like to learn more or be sent a link to the application. And then you'll send a follow-up email to the professor and thank him or her for their time and ccplp at unt.edu on that email so that we have record of the class that you went and spoke at. Two business after hours events. So there were already two that have happened, so you may already be able to check this off, but if you did not attend those last semester, please attend the two business after hours this semester. The only students who get out of this is if you have a class conflict, and we can check your class schedule. So 
Um, if you have a class every Wednesday night at 6.30 and you're not going to be able to attend our business after hours, then you can attend two non-PLT networking events. But we really want you to attend the business after hours. Our first one is in February for this semester, and it's actually here in Denton at Peterbilt. So even if you have a class at 6.30, you should be able to come for the first hour of that event. Next up, PLP Diversity and Inclusion Workshop coming up in February, as is Global and Social Awareness. An essay about those things. McKinsey training, this already happened. This is coming up in February. The first of design thinking already happened. And once you attend the second one later this month, you'll be able to check that one off. And then an essay about McKinsey. So the essays, you'll just type them directly into the checklist for all three essays, all right? Now, just as a reminder, um, you do have a maximum of two makeup opportunities. So let's say that so far you haven't missed any of these required PLP workshops. Um, you get sick and you have to miss diversity and inclusion on February 5th. You let your SD know ahead of time, so it's an excused absence, you only get one attendance point. You still have to make up that meeting for the medallion track. And the way you do that is to watch the video from that week and send a write-up to me about what the speaker spoke about, what you learned, how you'll apply those lessons, the 500-word essay. Um, and I will send you that when I audit the um, attendance for medallion workshop or medallion track. Um, but just as a reminder, you only have two for the whole year. So if you've already met your two makeup opportunities, you really got to make sure that if you're going to get sick, it's not one of these one of these days. Um, most of you still have your makeup opportunities, so kudos to you for being um, on top of it and being in attendance at all of our PLP meetings so far. Uh, this calendar will be posted on Shinspire under resources, and you'll be able to kind of keep track of what's going on, but you are almost there. If you look and see how many of these are already checked off, um, you're pretty close to uh, earning your medallion. You can go ahead and write your essays, and then all you've got to do is submit this on by April 4th, and you'll do that through Shinspire. A link will appear, a submission link will appear on your to-do list um, on March 3rd, and you'll just submit this entire form. You'll save it first, um, submit it, and have everything here in one place, and then um, if everything we audit checks out, you know, we're going to be checking with your SD about some of these things to verify that you had a one-on-one -on -one meeting, that you demonstrated teamwork, um, all of that good stuff. If you meet all of the requirements, then on April 22nd, when we have our court ceremony, you'll also receive your medallion. So um, as always, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. This is Megan Hiltinger, um, or reach out to PLP at unt.edu or your student director, and they'll either be able to answer your question or direct you back to me. And that is all I've got for you.